You are now going to watch the strip live, and it's super cool. We're glad to participate. This is John Paul and Eloise DiGiorgio, Patron, Paul Mitchell, John Paul Pitt, several other entities. Peace, love, and happiness. So thank you both so much for being here tonight. Now I want to know, did you do her hair? No. <laughs> he, is, he puts a lot of energy all around me, so it's kind of the same thing. But she uses the Paul Mitchell products, obviously, yeah, but I obviously. do her hair. Of course. Wouldn't you be, I mean, would that start a fight in the, in, in the household if she used something else? Well, I'd wonder what I was doing wrong if she did. <laughs> or I couldn't live with myself if I didn't support them purely. And thank God they're great products, you know. I've used them for 25 years now since I've been with John Paul. You should like have her be your spokesperson because you look I absolutely she she is, she's our spokes go. she has been for 25 years our spokesmodel yeah we're a little less under the radar now but we, we have some great young you know stars up and coming but yeah we're i'm the spokesperson for 25 years it's been fantastic well you know tonight is such an important theme and of course with the, the ruvos and all the, the organization that's doing so much work what does this night mean to you? To me, it means that we've come a long way. I was there at the very beginning when this started with Larry by giving him the first check and to see over the years not only how big it's gotten, but all the good they have done for people now that have Alzheimer's or dementia, but more important, what they're coming up with to be able to knock this out and cure it, hopefully within four or five years. And how to detect, they already have a system now where you can detect if you're going to get Alzheimer's and they could have it here at the Lou Ruvo Center, which is the Cleveland Clinic Lou Ruvo Center. You go in there and detect and if you are, you know what to do to kind of stay it off a little bit till the technology comes along. So it's come a long way. It's incredible. Now, have you toured the center? Yeah. Yes, we have. We sure have. Yeah. What do you think about it? Oh, my God. Frank Gehry. I mean, come on. It's beautiful. It's stunning. It's, you know, it's so cool. It's been, it was one of the greatest and pieces of architecture. And what there is incredible for the brain. And it's kind of cool because the shape of Frank Gehry fits with kind of, I think, the functioning of the brain. I think it all works really well together. Yeah, uh, I agree. Yeah. Uh, so along with the whole brain function, I, I'm about thought process. You know, I think we can think our way to healing. I think that we can, you know, think positively. Because of all your success that you've had, what has been your thought process? Are you very goal oriented, or do you do you meditate to, you know, bring things into your life? How do you? Uh, really set yourself up yeah. to win. V very, very good point. First, let me start out that our motto is success unshared is failure. Mm -hmm. If you make it in any way, shape, or form in your personal life or financially, share it somehow. But how you set yourself up to succeed, I think, is leave yourself completely open to the universe. As long as your product or your service is the very best there is, know that there are going to be a lot of doors close to your face, but don't give up. Be just as enthusiastic on door number 51 as you were on 50 that were close in your face. Face. Be ready for rejection. If you're ready for rejection, it's not going to hurt you as much, and you go forward. All right. Well, thank you so much. My thank you guys so much for being here.